Board of Madam Chair, Madam Clerk. We're all set, Mr. Chair. Great, thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. We'll convene today's GE meeting, Wednesday, April 13, 2022. Uh, any remarks by the Chair, Senator Fletcher, any comments? For the Master Pesco, any comments? Great, perfect, then we'll go, we'll, go, we'll get, get right into it. We got item number three, bills for final action, Senate Bill 466. An act concerning the conveyance of the parcel of state land in the town of Rocky Hill, is there a motion? I'll move. In the second. Second. Moved by Senator Fletcher, second by Representative Santiago. Any question or comment? Representative Matthew Fresco, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I thought I'd just kind of reserve my comments be, uh, before we call the first conveyance. You know, I think this committee works very, very hard. I have a lot of respect for everyone on this committee, um, including our, our chairs um, and our ranking members and all of the committee members. And I was very um, disappointed when we had our public hearing that many of the conveyances on here, nobody bothered to show up to testify, nor did they bother to even submit a letter or some, some written testimony. So it would give all of us on this committee more information about the conveyances. I think it is our duty to look at every conveyance to make sure that it's done properly um, and that we have information because I'm sure some of us have questions on some of these. Uh, they certainly may be warranted but many of these conveyances on today's committee are lacking information, which I have a hard time supporting until I get that information today. On this particular one, um, for the first one, it is for Rocky Hill. Um, there was no written testimony. The town of Rocky Hill, nobody came even to talk about it, to answer any of our questions. It's 5.3 acres. Um, I mean, there's just, questions that need to be answered. What is it used for? What is it going to be used for? Is it the proper thing to do for the state to convey the property over to? So um, because we have no we have no testimony, nobody bothered to show up uh, from Rocky Hill, the Department of Transportation could have came and talked about it to give us information. Um, I'm gonna flag this with a no today. I have serious concerns about many of these because we are lacking information. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Representative. I appreciate your comments uh, and do uh, tend to agree with your sentiments on, number, number, on a number of these issues uh, that are before us today. Uh, Senator Flexer, your hand was raised. Oh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, I was just gonna say something um, similar to you and, and um, I'll be pretty blunt about this. I hate the conveyance process. Um, I do think that we are trying in this committee to make sure that people have as much information um, as we can. Um, our, our clerk um, has ensured that all of the information that this committee has collected about these requests are available on our website. I share Representative Master Francesco's frustration that, that very few people came to talk about why these conveyances were necessary yesterday. Um, we are up against a deadline. Um, if we don't act on these items by today, um, they won't be able to move forward. And I'll just say, I will do everything in my power as the Senate chair, and they are all Senate bills to make sure that we have all of the information you could want about these conveyances before we move forward with them so that we can have a more robust information. There is some answers uh, to questions on the uh, questionnaire that the clerk of the committee collects to even begin the process for the conveyances. And we have added some questions uh, at, at the request of various um, stakeholders over the course of the last year to try to get more answers about these uh, pieces of property and, and the, the intended use for these pieces of property. Um, is there, are there more questions we could ask? Maybe there are, and we'd be very welcome to, to incorporate that into our process moving forward. And um, I'll say to you, Representative Pastor Francesco, I wanna make sure that we have all the information you could want before there's action taken on this in the Senate and before it's sent to the House. Thank you, Senator Fletcher. Representative Palmer, your hand is raised. The floor is yours. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I, I would like to echo the sentiments of my colleague, um, Rep. Master Francesco, I, and, and uh, Senator Flexer in this, in this sense that there's not enough transparency um, in this process. And as a representative of the town of Haddam, which had a, a 
a, a disastrous event in 2011, which to this day uh, continues to, to divide people in this town um, and led directly to the second um, part of, of the constitutional amendment in 2018 to, to require transparencies, <coughs> excuse me, in land transactions. Um, I have to be a no. Um, to, to the best of my understanding, having read the bills, only Cheshire uh, had what would be a, a sensible reverter clause. Uh, Torrington has an odd one after 25 years, the others don't have one at all. Um, and I think on the face of it, things like churches uh, would be deserving of, of additional land. But who knows what will happen <coughs> when that time passes. Um, these are public lands and the public deserves to have a full application before the public hearing process. So I, uh, I would like to see going forward that we have more of an understanding about the public benefit, um, the reverter clauses and the price. Some of these are being conveyed for a dollar, some are over a million dollars. It, it's too haphazard. And I feel I would be betraying the constituents of Haddam who fought really hard for the transparency um, and for conservationists um, who believe that public land should be in the public trust. Um, and I, I thank you all very much for hearing me out in my horrible state. <coughs> Thank you, Representative Pond, for your comments. Uh, we do appreciate them. When the table, take them clearly into consideration as the process moves forward about this session and, and, and in future sessions. And I hope you're feeling better. Representative France, your hand is raised. The floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And I just have one question. Maybe you may not know the answer, but do you know what the identification of release area means for this property in Rocky Hill? I don't have that. I, I don't have the I don't have the information in front of me. No, I'm sorry. Maybe that's one of the questions we get answered from DOT since they designated as release area. Um, that might explain some of the questions if we get that answer of what that area, why it's designated as release area. Um, but that might be one question DOT could answer for us to help us before we get to the floor. Thank you. Agreed. Thank you, Representative Friends. Appreciate your comments. Any further question or comments? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, will you please call the roll? Senate Bill 466, JF to the floor. Flexer. Senator Flexer votes yes. Fox. Representative Fox votes yes. One more time, Mr. Chair, please. Representative Fox votes yes. Thank you. Haskell. Senator Haskell. Thomas. Representative Thomas votes yes. Samson. Master Francesco. Representative Master Francesco votes no. Blumenthal. Representative Blumenthal. Carpino. Fishbein. France. Representative France votes no. Haddad. Labriola. McCarthy Vahey. McCrory. Morin Bello. Palm. Representative Palm. Palm votes no. One more time, Representative, please. I'm sorry. I, Rep. Palm votes no. 
Yes, I got your vote. Thank you. <laughs> Santiago. Santiago votes yes. Slap. All set, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Clerk. I think uh, we will keep the votes open until the first chamber goes in the session, which I believe will be around 1130. Votes will be held open until the first chamber goes in the session, which at this point is scheduled for approximately 1130. We've got item number two, Senate Bill number 488, an act amending a conveyance of state land to the town of Hamden. Is there a motion? So moved. And a second. Second. Motion made by Senator Fletcher, second by Representative Santiago. Uh, the matter, this matter before us is a uh, amends of prior conveyance from DAS on behalf of DCF to Hamden. Uh, extends the conveyance deadline from June 30, 2021 to June 30, 2023. Uh, subject to uh, State Property Review Board approval. Uh, and a question or comment. Remember, Mr. Preston, your hands raised, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, just once again, I have concerns on this one again that there was no test, no written testimony, nobody came to testify in person or via Zoom. It's so easy today to just get on Zoom and just say a few words, um, either from DAS, Commission of Children, or, or either the town of Hamden. Um, I understand that there is a fair market value price in here of $1.7 million for 50 acres. Again, questions, I don't know if that's fair market value. I don't know what the land is gonna be used for. Um, and what it's being used for now. So um, based on that, I'm gonna flag this today again with a no because we don't have the information and I, I'm sure Senator Flexer and Representative Fox will work to get us this information. I'm, I'm, I'm certain that you will do that because everybody on this committee deserves um, certainly to have those answers just out of respect. Um, we all work very, very hard on this committee and I'm certain Senator Flexer that you'll certainly get that information for us. But for today, I'm gonna to vote no and uh, hopefully in the future, we'll have more people coming to testify on these very important issues that affect uh, our land and the citizens of Connecticut. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Representative. We will do our best to get that information. Uh, and I think as Senator Fletcher made clear in remarks earlier, uh, we will work, and if, if we don't get the information, then perhaps the bills double forward. So we'll, we'll do our best to make sure that that happens for the benefit of the, of the committee and, then, and then the public. Any further questions or comments? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Senate Bill 488, JF to the floor. Flexer. Senator Flexer votes yes. Fox. Representative Fox votes yes. Yes. Haskell. Senator Haskell. Thomas. Representative Thomas votes yes. Sampson. Master Francesco. Representative Master Francesco votes no. Blumenthal. Representative Blumenthal votes yes. Carpino. Fishbein. France. Representative France votes yes. Haddad. Labriola. McCarthy Vehi. McCrory. Morin Bello. Palm. Representative Palm votes no. <coughs> no. Thank you. Rosario. Santiago. Santiago votes yes. Slap. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Madam Clerk. We got item number three. Senate Bill 489, an act concerning the commands of a parcel state land in, in the town of Cheshire. Is there a motion? So moved. And a second. Second. 
Moved by Senator Fletcher, second by Representative Thomas. This matter, uh, is, as this title states, is in terms of remains of parts of state land in Cheshire. Department of Correction to the Chespercott Health District for administrative cost, approximately two acres to be used for building the regional health district. Subject to SPRP, SPRB approval or includes reverter clause. I think um, this is one of the matters uh, that we did have testimony on, which I think proved very helpful to members of the committee. We were able to ask questions, get some clarifying information. Representative Lillahan from Cheshire came forward and provided testimony on it, which again, I think goes to the point that Representative Master Press made, made, made earlier. In fact, an individual does come testify, we are able to clear up some of this potential confusion or question that we, the committee may have be able to move, move forward in a more efficient process. Question from Representative Master Press, your hand raised, the floor is yours. Thank you, uh, Chairman. So, yes, on this particular one, we did hear testimony from Representative Linehan, and there was some written testimony sent in for Chesapeake, which I appreciate. I was able to get some more information on it. I do have just a couple questions on why there was no fair market value on this particular conveyance, um, but certainly I will get those answers down the road. So I'm okay with uh, moving this along and passing this on of committee today. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Representative. Representative Palmer, hands raised, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, maybe it's the COVID talking, but this is the second time I agree with Rep. Master Francesco. <laughs> I see you, Gail. Um, <clears throat> yes, I, I appreciate Rep. Linehan's um, doing, doing the due diligence, and I, I am satisfied that whatever remaining questions <clears throat> may exist, we can get them. Um, so again, I, I agree with uh, Master Francesco on, on all points. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you, Representative Palmini, for the question or comments. Seeing that, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Senate Bill 489, yes to the floor. Flexer. Senator Flexer votes yes. Fox. Representative Fox votes yes. Haskell. Senator Haskell. Thomas. Rep. Thomas votes yes. Sampson. Mr. Francesco. Mr. Francesco votes yes. Blumenthal. Representative Blumenthal votes yes. Carpino. Representative Carpino votes yes. Fishbein. France. Representative France votes yes. Haddad. Labriola, McCarthy, Vehi, McCrory, Morin Bello, Palm. Rep Palm votes yes. <coughs> Rosario. Representative Rosario. Santiago. Santiago votes yes. Slap. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Moving on, Senate Bill item number four, Senate Bill 490. That concerning the conveyance of a parcel of state land in the town of Cheshire for a school bus depot is there a motion? So moved. And a second. Second, Moore and Bellow. Moved by Senator Flex for second by Representative Moore and Bellow. Uh, this matter uh, is a command from the Department of Correction of Chester for administrative costs, approximately 3.26 acres to be used as school bus depot, subject to SPRB approval, includes a reverter clause. Uh, this matter, same as Senate Bill 1117 from last year, which passed the Senate, but the, I don't believe that it got through the House. Um, again, Rep. Linehan came and testified on the matter, uh, provided some background information, which I think was helpful. Any questions or comments? Representative Master Fresco, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, again, the same as the other conveyance going to Cheshire. Um, yes, Representative Linehan was able to testify. Unfortunately, there was nobody there from the town to answer a few questions I have, but uh, through that testimony, I'm certain I will get those answers. So I will support this going out of committee today. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Rep. Thank you, Representative. I appreciate your comments. Any further questions or comments? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Senate Bill 490J after the floor. Flexer. Senator Flexer votes yes. Fox. 
Representative Fox votes yes. Haskell. Senator Haskell votes yes. Thomas. Rep. Thomas votes yes. Samson. Mr. Francesco. Mr. Francesco votes yes. Blumenthal. Representative Blumenthal votes yes. Carpino. Representative Carpino votes yes. One more time, Representative, please. Representative Carpino votes yes. Thank you. Fishbein. France. Representative France votes yes. Haddad. Labriola. McCarthy Vahey. Representative McCarthy Vahey votes yes. McCrory. Morin Bello. Representative Morin Bello votes yes. Palm. Representative Palm votes yes. <clears throat> Rosario. Representative Rosario votes yes. Santiago. Santiago votes yes. Slap. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Moving on, item number five, Senate Bill 491, an act concerning the conveyance of a parcel of state property in the town of Sharon. Is there a motion? I moved. And a second. Second. Moved by Senate Santiago. Senate second by Representative Santiago. On the matter involves a parcel of state property in the town of, town of Sharon. DEP uh, is going to propose to convey parcel of St. Bridget Church in Sharon for fair market value plus administrative costs. 0 0.0091 acres, no identified use, subject to SPRB approval. Uh, this matter, interestingly, requires two thirds majority vote in both chambers because of the fact that it is uh, deep property. Any questions or comments? I was Master Francesco, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, and I didn't realize that, that you needed a two thirds vote to get this one passed because it comes through deep. And I would think that it would be important enough for deep to come and testify if you need two thirds vote. It should be that important to them. Um, so there was no testimony on them that they came in, they sent in, although I will say that just before we started this meeting, um, I did receive an email, to, I guess the committee did, with testimony for them, but the te that should have been done actually the other day. So without any testimony from them or from St. Bridget's Church, I'm going to vote no on this today. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Representative. I've not yet seen that testimony, but I appreciate you bringing it to our attention. Any further question or comments? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Senate Bill 491, JF to the floor. Flexer. Senator Flexer votes yes. Fox. Representative Fox votes yes. Haskell. Senator Haskell Senate. votes yes. Thomas. Representative Thomas votes yes. Samson. Mastro Francesco. Representative Mastro Francesco votes no. Blumenthal. Representative Blumenthal votes yes. Carpino. Representative Carpino votes yes. I apologize. One more time, please. No worries. Representative Carpino votes yes. Thank you. Fishbein. France. Representative France votes yes. Haddad. Labriola. McCarthy Vahey. Representative McCarthy Vahey votes yes. McCrory. Morin Bello. Representative Morin Bello votes yes. Um, Madam Clerk, I got disconnected for a bit. Can you please tell me what um, bill this is? Senate Bill 491, JF to the floor. Uh, Palm votes no. Rosario. 
Rosario votes yes. Santiago. Yes. Jose. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Moving on, item number six, Senate Bill 492. That concerning the conveyance of a parcel of state land in the city of Torrington is their motion. So moved. And a second. Second, Santiago. Moved by Senator Fletcher, second by Representative Santiago. Uh, this matter concerns the conveyance of parcel of state land in the city of Torrington, DAS to Torrington for $1 plus administrative costs. 0.69 of an acre and existing improvements to be used for municipal purposes. Subject test care be approval. Includes a burger clause that sunsets after 25 years. Again, I think Representative Matt Fesco's point earlier, uh, no testimony in the bill. Uh, we don't know why they want the clause. The reverter clause is the sunset after 25 years. That's kind of one of the first times I've, I've heard of reverter clause sunsetting after a period of time like that. Uh, ideally, we'll be able to get more information on this matter before it moves forward. Um, but that's what we have before us now. Representative Matt Fesco, your hands raised, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I will say I'm happy that this is the last one that I will have to complain about today on this. Uh, again, no testimony from DAS or the city of Torrington. I have no idea what, the, what it is, what they're using it for. Um, and I, I really hope going forward when we do conveyances, again, there's more, there's more input just for respect of our committee members. It's just so disrespectful to ask the state to give you something. To, for, and this one here has no uh, fair market value to it anyway, and and not submit testimony or come and talk about it. I, I realize some of this information is online, but just to the respect of the committee members, I just think it's wrong. So um, I'll be opposing this today. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Your Representative, Representative France, your hand raised, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I guess I will echo the comments of a uh, good ranking member, and I, I will note that the term doesn't expire for 25 years. It only puts restrictions on the use for 25 years. After that, those restrictions go away, which is even more unusual than uh, as was described. I think that the other thing is broad use of municipal purpose. I think we've seen this in the past where uh, that is not well understood what it will be used for. Uh, and I think that there needs to be much more explanation from the town to understand what the public use uh, or if this is in the public interest to be transferring the property from the state to the town. So for that reason, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll get these answers before it comes to the floor, I'll be a no. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. Any further question or comments? Before Madam Clerk calls the roll, I do hope the proponents of these bills and the, and the, the individual advocates who want them are listening to our message today, which I think is that we need more information before these matters move forward. Uh, and ideally they've heard the message loud and clear today. For Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Senate Bill 492, J.F. to the floor. Flexer. Senator Flexer votes yes. Fox. Representative Fox votes yes. Haskell. Senator Haskell votes yes. One more time, please. Sorry, Madam Clerk. Senator Haskell votes yes. Thank you. Thomas. Representative Thomas votes yes. Samson. Maestro Francesco. Representative Maestro Francesco votes no. Blumenthal. Representative Blumenthal votes yes. Carpino. Representative Carpino votes no. One more time, please. Representative Carpino votes no. Thank you. Fishbein. France. Representative France votes no. Haddad. Labriola. McCarthy Vehi. Representative McCarthy Vehi votes yes. Yeah. McCrory. Morin Bello. Representative Morin Bello votes yes. Palm. <clears throat> Representative Palm votes no. <laughs> Rosario. Representative Rosario votes yes. Santiago. Santiago votes yes. Slap. 
Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Moving on, Section 4, Bills Referred for Consideration, Substitute Bill Number 5253, an act concerning disclosure of gaming, voluntarily self-exclusion records, and allowing single-use store value instruments to be used to fund certain Keno lottery accounts. Is there a motion? I move. And a second. Second, Santiago. Motion made by Senator Clark, second by Robertson Santiago. Uh, the bill comes to us from the Public Safety Committee. I believe specifically as a result of section two of the underlying bill, which uh, invokes Freedom of Information uh, Act, which, which comes in the jurisdiction of this committee, uh, generally expands privacy protection for people participating in voluntary self-exclusion processes with gaming entities where a person can choose to limit their gaming account spending or block themselves from making an account of placing wagers. Um, the bill brought in the exception of participants in the voluntary self-exclusion process that must be established from the gaming services provided by master wagering licensees. Essentially, my understanding of the bill before us was that uh, when the, the gaming uh, legislature passed last session, this, this this was somewhat of an, this section of, of the, the, the law was somewhat overlooked. This kind of a cleaning up and, and trying to make sure that uh, uh, these matters are, this information is protected, protected in our FOI. Where's the master for your hands raised, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just have a quick question for clarification. On lines 98 to 103 of the bill, it says the Connecticut Lottery um, may disclose the names and relevant records of such persons. Would you know if the reason for that is because of tax purposes for reporting if they have winnings? I, I know that there's a certain amount of money that you win and has to be reported for tax purposes, or is it just for, I don't know, if somebody wins, they just disclose the name. I just need a little clarification on that. Thank you, Representative. I'm not entirely sure. I think it might be just, um... I think my my preferred I think is for the, for the latter. If someone so when they want to be able to make information public, I am not sure if it has to do with the tax tax purpose. I think it might have to do with the fact that they want to be able to make the name public of the winner. I, I think I'm not entirely sure though. Okay. Um, okay. I guess we'll find that out uh, moving forward. I'll dig into some more information. But thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Representative. Any further question or comments? I will say the bill got out the public safety committee unanimously. Uh, what it's worth, and seeing no further question comments, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. House Bill 5253, J.F. to the floor. Flexer. Senator Flexer votes yes. Fox. Representative Fox votes yes. Haskell. Senator Haskell votes yes. Thomas. Representative Thomas votes yes. Samson. Mr. Francesco. Representative Mr. Francesco votes yes. Blumenthal. Representative Blumenthal votes yes. Carpino. Representative Carpino. Can you see and hear me, ma'am? I vote yes. Thank you. Fishbein. France. Representative France votes yes. Haddad. Labriola. McCarthy Vehi. Representative McCarthy Vehi votes yes. McCrory. Morin Bello. Representative Morin Bello votes yes. Palm. Representative Palm votes yes. Rosario. Representative Rosario. Representative Rosario votes yes. Santiago. Santiago votes yes. Slap. Senator Slab votes yes. One more time, Senator, please. <clears throat> Senator Slab votes yes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. 
Thank you, Madam Clerk. Seeing no more business before our committee votes will remain open to 1130 or until the first chamber goes into session, whichever happened. I guess we're, we're, we're votes remain open until the first chamber goes into session. Uh, wishing all a happy session day and thank you for your time and efforts and see you all soon. Thank you. Please continue to send a recess. Representative Blumenthal. Hi, Madam Clerk. I believe I missed uh, item number one of section three. Yes. Uh, I'd like to be recorded in the affirmative, please. And uh, did I miss any other votes? I'm going to check right now. You're all set, Representative. Great, thank you, Valentina. Thank you. Representative McCarthy Vahey. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Madam Clerk, I believe I missed uh, voting items one, two, and three. Uh, yes, I will check as I go. Uh, item one, for SB 466. And Representative McCarthy Vahey votes yes. Item two. Representative McCarthy Day, he votes yes. Item three. Representative McCarthy Day, he votes yes. You're all set, Representative. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Thank you. Senator Haskell. Hi, Valentina. I think I missed the first two or three. I will check as I go, Senator. Uh, item one, Senate Bill 466. I'd like to vote yes, please. Item two? Uh, yes, once again. Item three? Yes, again. You're all set, Senator. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. Senator Slap. Yes, I thank you. Item one. Uh, yes. Item two. Yes. Item three. Yes. Item four? Yes. Item five? Yes. Item six? Yes. You're all set, Senator. Thanks so much. Have a good day. You too. Representative Rosario. Hi, Valentina. Hi. Uh, item one? Uh, I vote yes. Item two? I also vote yes. Item three? I vote in the affirmative. You're all set, Representative. Thank you so much. Thank you. Representative Morimbello. Hi, Valentina. Hey. Item one. Rep Morimbello votes yes. Item two. Rep Morimbello votes yes. Item three. Rep Morimbello votes yes. I think that's Yeah, that's it. You're all set, Representative. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Re Representative Carpino. Thank you. I think I missed the first few. Yes, I will check as I go. Item one. 
I'd like to vote yes. Item two. Yes, please. You also have representative. Thank you. Thank you. Representative Haddad. Representative Haddad. You're muted. There we go. Thank you. There Got you. it. Okay. There we are. Item one. Uh, yes. Item two. Yes. I think for get in touch, <clears throat> I would put um, item three. Yes. Okay. The main number. Item four. Yes. Item five. Yes. And I say that I am from the item six. Yes. Yeah, you feel like where are you? Why you deny your location for item one? What? I'm sorry, is that for me? I, yes. I look, yes. So I would make it. You're all set, representative. Thank you. Thank you. Representative Gabriola. Good morning. Good morning. Item one. Yes. Item two. Yes. Item three. Yes. Item four. Yes. Item five. Yes. Item six. Yes. Section four, item one. Yes. You all set representative. Thank you. Thank you.
Hello. Hello. Hi, Senator. I have that. Hello. House How you doing? Online. I'm good. How are you? Wonderful. How many votes I have to give you? Seven. Okay. I'm yes to every last one. Um. Okay. I'm, uh, I'll just go through the items. I think I have to. So just uh, item one. All right. Yes. Okay. Sorry, I I've just never done that, so I didn't think. Um, item two. Yes. Item three. Yes. Item four. Yes. Item five. Yes. Item six. Yes. Section four, item one. Yes. Okay, you're all set, Senator. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, Senator Sampson. I'm sorry. Someday yes. I'll figure out this Zoom thing. Yeah, I'm just trying to mute the house chamber too. Um, item one. I'm a, I'm a yes on uh, everything, on all the conveyances. I'm just gonna call the items, just item one and two. Um, I, I don't want. Yeah, forgive me that I don't have the agenda in front of me, though. No, that's a, uh, that's fine as long as you did look at the agenda and you know what I'm the items are. <laughs> I don't. Give me one okay. second and I will call it up. Hang on. Okay. Uh, Senator, I, I, I got I it think, right here. Um. We have to do this really, really quickly before the house convenes. I understand. Okay. okay. Item one. Yes. Item two. Yes. Item three. Yes. Item four. Yes. Item five. Yes. Item six. No. Item one, section four. Yes. Okay, you are all set. You are wonderful. Thank you for putting up with me. Thank you. Have a good day, Senator. Take it easy. 